Okay, today we come to you. We gotta say goodbye to our race car. Tearing up over there. <laughs> this is uh, this is what we were running in super late model at the end of last year, end of last season. It had the SB2 in it. Uh, Y'all have seen it here in uh, most of the videos lately. It's just kind of been sitting here or out there. We've been rolling it out to make room. Uh, we we're waiting on the SB2 to get back and put and put it in here. However, since then, uh, someone saw it sitting here and reached out and asked if we'd be interested in selling it and y'all know how things are nothing is nothing's for sale but ultimately everything's for sale um so so we sold it and we're going to say goodbye to it this is the car how many races how many races we win with it two or three two two, I think. two. we had some good runs with it made eldora world 100 with it uh won a couple races a couple checks on the wall back there that we won with it um been a good car but it's just the way things go we're gonna say goodbye to it See you later, hasta la vista, and we're gonna get to work. All right. Oh, did y'all put our check on the wall? Yeah, well, we kind of covered up the Napa sign. It's gotta go down there. But anyway, there's the check on the wall. It covered the Napa sign. We'll move it down there, but the check is on the wall from last Saturday night at Southern Raceway, Joseph's big win. Jesse ran into some trouble over here. I think a tire jumped out in front of him and a berm. It bit me. Almost a light pole. Did you see the photographer run off? Well, I mean, yeah, you probably no. didn't see it when you were racing. Can't say up and run off. I can't say as I blame him. No. Jesse ran into a tire. It turned him and he baja through the infield. So, win for Joseph last week at Southern and a ninth place finish for Jesse in his re debut in the 604 division. All in all, not a bad night of racing. Thank you to everybody that tuned in to the live stream of that event um hope y'all enjoyed it and uh, thanks again to southern raceway and just dirt video productions for working with us on that this weekend well right now we are stripping the sides off this thing pulling the nose off obviously so we can work on that and we are pulling this engine out pulling the 604 out and we are putting the 602 in and Here's the best part. Guess what? I get to go racing again. This weekend, we'll be back at Southern Raceway, but this time it'll be me racing in the 602 division. Uh, Friday and Saturday night, 1,000 to win Friday, 1,500 to win Saturday. And uh, we're going to do a live pay-per-view again for those of you that want to watch. Um, the link is in the description, but it's the same deal. Going to be live on Facebook, just like last time, both nights, just charging the price that the track is charging for admission. Uh, for the pay-per-view each night this time we're working with dirt 2 media thanks to dirt 2 media southern raceway and the uscs sprint cars for working with us on that in addition to me racing in the 602 division you will have the uscs sprint cars running so a lot to see there that's this weekend uh friday saturday february 25th 26th i think something like that anyway link uh info all that's in the description of the video we got to get to work we're gonna swap motors today the goal today is to get the 604 out 602 in and get it fired up before we leave here so we'll see if we can get make that happen you ain't mad at me are you no <laughs> so um obviously this is jesse's car he's been driving it for well a year now all of last year yeah. but before that it was it did have a 56 on it you ready ready to go with it before that it did have a 56 on it we got something holding us up. I need to put my camera down, I guess. There we go. All right, there. Yeah. We'll have some work to do on that thing, but it'll be good as new. Anyway, this did have the 56 on it before uh, Jesse got in it. And being says, I think the seat is right where it was when I drove it. We'll see. I'll try. I might have outgrowed the seat uh, since I drove this thing last. Yeah, hey, I will. We'll get it. Get that figured out. But. Because I've drove this one before, and um, it's uh, we decided to pull the doors off it, put my doors on, or put new doors on, put my wrap on, and run it. So it'll have the 604 back in it and the HTF1 doors back on it pretty soon, I would imagine. You ain't losing your ride or nothing like that. I'm just borrowing it from you. I'll take extra good care of it, I promise. 
Hey, what's the worst that can happen? Hit the tire, run, run, over, run over the light pole. <laughs> don't see that. No, yeah, don't say that. You never know. Got it? Yep. All right. There's that. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, there you go. Yep. Hey, I'm robbing the fan. Just gotta go on that motor. Something's gotta have at least one fan. I'm robbing the carburetor. Yeah, I gotta have a fan. <laughs> robbing your carburetor too. So I and promise I'll give those back as well. Huh? Yeah, and the fuel pump. And, the fuel pump. and your flywheel bolts. Car. <laughs> we'll seat. Get, yeah, seat. seat car. But point with all that is we're running the same carburetor we can run e85 now they change the rules in the 602 crate racing usa right. sportsman division. we can run e85 you just got to add 50 pounds and i probably weigh i don't weigh 50 pounds more than jesse but I, I weigh a solid 30 pounds more than jesse and then we're putting steel heads so we heck we might pull weight off of this thing when we get done here but yeah we're gonna leave our y'all last year when jesse would uh go and race off somewhere and then come back here to southern southern with the crate racing usa rules they run down here we had to run race fuel like i said they changed that this year so we're sticking with the 85 i don't know if that's the best way to go having to tote a little bit extra weight but this e85 e does seem to make a little bit more power on the crate motors right um so it's kind of more it's really more of a convenient thing because it's yeah. e85 in the tank already right we don't have to swap it out yep it's, it's just kind of uh, ever all our crate stuff gonna be on the same fuel a little heavier, right motors heavier like yeah but you probably just put it back in here and just go racing right and it. exactly i don't know which one would be which one's the best right careful my carburetor now Oh, it's bent. <laughs> Another one of those bent ones. <laughs> Gotta take it up evenly right here, down too far. You're way up right here. Alright, there you go, it's on. Alright, you're good. <laughs> you go, there you go. Alright, carburetor's off. Right now, feels like a good time to show off some new shirts. Well, y'all are working hard. Hey, did you see your new shirts? Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, give me just a second to show y'all. We've got our new 2022 Joseph Joyner shirts in. And hopefully by the time y'all see this video, they will be available for purchase on the website. We also have uh, gray. So we got them in gray, black, and red. Got t-shirts and hoodies. They're on the website, htfmerch.com. By the time y'all see this video, check them out. Here, here's a view of the front of Big it. Big thank you to our sponsors there, Langenfelder Base, Trading Paints, Dirt Trap Bank, Law Offices, Colin Davis. Check out the new shirts. Got them in gray, black, and red, and hoodies in gray, black, and red. HTFmerch.com. We'll have Jesse shirts and Jonathan shirts hopefully here very soon. difference going from 602 to 604 yeah the power yeah a little bit okay i raced 602 back before the year before we started the channel two years before we started the channel 17 and 18 i raced 602 so actually won track championship out there at southern but i think supposedly it was 50 horsepower something like that mm -hmm. and then i got to go back to the 602 shocks as well we do have a change you got it you got it. You got it. We do have to, oh, no, you don't, no, don't got have, it. I told I you. We do have to change the uh, engine plate from 604 to 602. And that's just... Dang. 
Drop do you at? I got it. And that's just because the 602, the oil pan sits, uh, comes down lower, and so you got to raise the engine up higher. Do we have our spacers for our uh, yeah. motor mounts? They're somewhere it's around here. So you got to put a bigger spacer under your motor mount, and you got to change the engine plate so that it picks the engine up higher in the race car. Nothing to it. Grab the, I'll hold this here. Grab the other plate from there. Watch your toes. And your ears. Wait, which mm -hmm. way to go? Turn around. Right. Which holes? Right there. Here's lunch today. Pizza roll. So this here is 602 crate engine. It just like the last three crate engines we've had, uh, was not new, but it came to us fresh from Race Tech, and Jesse ran it how many times? 13 times last year? Uh, 13 or 14 with a rain hour or something. Yeah, so it still should be in good shape. Ideally, we could have put some valve springs on it for this weekend, but we didn't think that far ahead. Yeah. But uh, they should still be all right. But uh, it should still have plenty of life left in it, hopefully. You hear that movie, Dugas? Yeah. Well, the just make sure your battery's charged. Towards the spec. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. As long as the battery's charged, we're good. You got one pizza roll left for you, buddy. We saved it. Motor mount, flywheel, fan, everything tight. I don't know. Well, stick it in the hole. It's just junk, right? Yeah, it's just old truck motor. 602. Mm hmm. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, 916s yeah, over here, please. All right, we're going to check a little quick start or brake clean spray the, the plug there. We are going to brake check, make sure this thing has engine oil in it before we go to cranking it. Woohoo! I thought he was about to really throw it. I wouldn't put it past him. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you told him to. Here, move him. Check the oil. Make check sure to whirl in it. Oil. Earl? Well, you reckon we ought to change it? I mean, assuming there's oil in it. We can, but we can crank it with those stuff. Right, and then we'll change it. We'll, you know, before we run it. Probably, we'll change it Saturday. Saturday, oh, at the track. Why would you do Why that? Why would you do that? Oh, yeah. Because we need something to do. Oh. oh. Get the napkin! Nope. Jordan napkin, Jordan. Plenty, there's Too plenty. Late. It's on the floor. I guess it's full, huh? It's, it's Listen. slam full. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bad time, Jay Bob. Yeah. Bad time. Hey, are the t shirts on the website? Yes, on the website. Be glad. It's funny because they're in the back of my truck still over there, too. Maybe in two places at once. <laughs> All right. All right, we got a oil. Yeah, you, you are just in time. Just in time. Here it, here it crank. Some wap pals. Wap pal, wap pal. Wap pal, pow, ping ping pow, ping pow. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Alright, hey, 
So and we're gonna crank it. Get ready to be. I'll be ready to switch it off. Yeah, we'll be watching for leaks and such. We gotta make sure the clarity might be off. Yes. Okay. Switches on. Oh, clarity, clarity off. though. Backwards. That 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 is not. That's how you. That's how you test that. Yep. So all that means is we gotta swap our wires around. Mm-hmm. We had we just change and put different plugs on it. Oh, uh, okay. We've been changing all of our distributor it's, plugs. Because we had the issue at Ocala. Yes. We are so eliminating that. we had to check that. and make sure which way was which. Oh, okay. Because the colors are different and all is that and other. Well, should we mark it or something? Or? Well, once we, get well, it once we it, fix right. it, it'll it only hook up right. one way. Okay. Yeah. I trust y'all's judgment. Oh, so you're changing the wires in the end here. Yep. Moving them. Pins. I see what you're doing. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so yeah. what was going on there is our timing was way high. Yes. Like, yes. Yes. Or Got, low. No, that'd be high, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yes. Hey, if anybody in the comments wants to explain this better than us for someone else Feel to read free. in the comments, <laughs> Feel free. Yeah. The Polaris is All right. But this time, yeah, she's going to fire right up. You already got it or no? Yeah, I was looking for the little rubber cap. Oh shoot! <laughs> is that me? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Uh, <laughs> What's that for? It's just like a hand protector. Oh, oh! It's a piece gets pulled out when you can't work. Okay, Joe. So you're gonna fire up this time, boys. Ready? Finally, oh. get stuff to work with around here. Boom! All right, we're ready now. All right. We're ready, ready? You got water in it? No. What? Water. Tech 602 back in gator bait. Can we still call it gator bait even though I'm driving it? I don't know. Is the car gator bait or me? <laughs> it's got gator bait road on it, and we call that one over there faithful. And we said we got to name this one, so it's gator bait. I'm driving gator oh, bait's gator bait. car that we call gator bait. <laughs> okay, there it is. Race Tech 602 back in there, so we I can go 602 racing this time, and it won't be long. Well, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready, man. Are you excited? I'm, a, I'm very excited. Are you uh, nervous? I am also a little bit nervous, uh, but I think we'll be all right. If nothing else, I'll just, Jesse, you get in there. If I can't drive it, <laughs> worst comes to worst. <laughs> we'll bring your suit, okay? <laughs> no, nah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, just stay away from the, the infield. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, but anyway, we'll be running this one. I'll be racing it. Southern Raceway this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Y'all can watch live on the Facebook pay-per-view. All that info is in the uh description of the video uh if you're in town come see us the uscs sprint cars uh that series they're racing too so that's gonna be very interesting get to watch some sprint car racing and uh see what happens it's gonna be fun we do have to finalize a name for this one we've we've avoided the whole naming cars or being uh referring to them by name very much but when you got three or four cars and they all look very similar and you're swapping doors and numbers I think we gotta start referring to these cars by names, right? Would that make life easier? 
We've been giving them numbers. Well, you, you can't. The problem is, this is a, if we call it, oh, this is HTF1 car, now we're putting the 56 no, no, on it. This is 125. Oh, oh, by chassis number? Well, I said that gets confusing That's too. Right. We got, I feel like they need, this car over here has earned the name Faithful, right? So we can't, we're going to refer to it as Faithful because it's been that. Right. Right? We got to, we're going to keep calling this one Gator Bait. We got to come up with a name for this one. We're going to do that soon. Stay tuned. We're, we'll do something and get that finalized. Anyway, thank y'all for hanging out with us. Oh, for don't forget also to check out. We got the Joseph shirts and hoodies on the website htfmerch.com. And um, if y'all want to watch Friday and Saturday night, we have a link to the pay per view for that as well. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see y'all later.